from Saitama City in uh, Japan. And uh, we are in the commentary box here in Salford. Much less glamorous, but uh, very cosy and comfortable because we've got a busy commentary box this morning for the Ice Dance Free Skate. And uh, we're joined by British Olympians Penny Coombs and Mick Buckman, who've made the journey especially all the way from the USA to bring their expertise uh, to proceedings this morning. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Thank you for having us. Good morning. Nice to see you again. Last time we were up in a commentary box together, it was in Pyeongchang at the Olympics, and you just skated your free skate, came 11th, thrilled with how you performed. Been, been performed. What have you been doing since? We've been busy. <laughs> we've been doing a bit of everything. We've been doing, uh, been doing some coaching. We've been doing. Uh, we actually helped out with a Torb and Dean movie. Um, yes. That was aired over Christmas, which was fun. Yeah, we did some shows over Christmas as well, and then we popped back to do a little sesh on Dancing on Ice as well. So yeah, busy, busy. <laughs> but still in skating. Yes. Yeah, of very course. Much so. Very much so. <laughs> do, you, do you reckon that's where you'll stay? Absolutely. <laughs> I can't so. see anything. I can't see us doing anything else. I, yeah. Apart from it's getting I'll... married, of course. I mean, there's <laughs> a small matter of an yeah. engagement. So congratulations well, to that. Oh, I mean, thank you. I know you were under huge pressure from both your mums, particularly after the Olympics and <laughs> imminent retirement. And everyone was very excited about the fact that you were going to retire and have babies. Yeah, I was going to say it was more about the babies than the engagement. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> stepping stone. The, parent, the, the mums are happy that's out of the way. Yeah. And, yeah, on to, on to the next, <laughs> as far as they're concerned, you know. <laughs> yeah, they've ticked off one life goal, they're on to the next one. But for you, skating is still very much, of course, the centre of what you do, the centre of your focus. Is it weird being back in, well, on the other side of a microphone and watching the World Championships from a commentary box rather than being out there on the ice to warm up like these guys are? It is. It's really weird, but it's actually quite nice. Because I, like, I know the feeling that, that they've got, but I'm like, oh, it's okay, I can sit here and drink my tea. I don't actually have to go out there and do anything. <laughs> do you miss it? Do you miss comp competing, that, 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 the butterflies in the stomach? The... I, yeah, I'm, I miss this. I miss this right now. I think uh, I, this competition actually is the first time I've really missed it since, uh, since we decided to retire. So, um, yeah, I'm, I am enjoying it, though. Um, you know, we've we've started kind of a different path in our lives and we're I'm enjoying focusing, you know, hugely on something else. But at the same time, you know, this is we are still so involved in skating, so you know, we keep up to date with exactly what's going on and um, you know, exactly what's happening with all the rules and so we we're just as kind of, you know, in skating as we were before, but just in a different way. Yeah. So yeah. You haven't stepped away from it. You're not it's not like you're sitting at home on the sofa no. eating crisps in your pants and watching it and thinking, Oh, I used to do not that. at all. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. I was gonna say, hmm. <laughs> Depending on the event. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so this is the first group of uh, five five we've got out on the ice at the moment. Twenty uh, made it through from the short programme and uh, the favourites for the gold and for the world title, uh, Gabriella Papadakis and Guillaume Cizeron, the French, who took the silver medal, didn't they, at the Olympics behind uh, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. Is it just theirs to win this competition? Are we just going to watch a bit of a procession for them? I think anything can happen because it is sport. Um, but if all goes well, then I think I think it's theirs. It's theirs to lose, definitely. Oh, they are cut above the rest at the moment, and they're going into a free dance with pretty much a five-point lead, which you know in ice dance is is hard to make up. Um, hard to make up the room, especially on somebody on the Olympic silver medalist, you know, and the yes. reigning world champion. So. Um, <sighs> The, the rest of the field is very much to play for. You know, we have uh, the top from about second to eighth place is very, very tight points-wise, so really anything can happen there. And uh, all the way um, down to where I suppose where Lyra and Lewis are, there's a real there's a real chance that, you know, Lyra and Lewis could make the top ten. There's, you know, it's all it really is all to play for, which is why I think the free dance will be really exciting today. Yeah, Lila and Lewis, of course, the British uh, team who will be out there representing uh, today. And they are currently in 15th position after the short programme. But they are hoping, aren't they? they? They should be in the top 10 if they perform well. They actually did really well at Europeans this year. I think they ended up in uh, sixth place, which 
is a massive jump from where they came the previous year and they've got a free dance that's really fun and a bit different and I think definitely in Japan it will get the crowd behind them. So um, it'll definitely be exciting to see how they do and, and how they perform here. What's it like to skate in Japan? Because that, that I've said this a couple of times in, in commentary, that stadium holds 19,000 people and it is packed to the rafters for figure skating because they are mad on their figure skating. Yeah, they are the biggest figure skating fans in the world. I mean, it is, it's like our football over here. Yeah. I mean, you know, Yuzuru Hanyu is essentially David Beckham. <laughs> you know, it is that big. And um, you know, figure skating is so, so popular. So it's, it's so refreshing um, to go as a, as a competitor and perform in front of those crowds because they, they appreciate everything. They've watched your performances all season. They've seen your developments. They know exactly you know, where you train and, who you, you know, it's, their, their knowledge is so, is so wonderful. And so. they want you to do well. Yes, That's they That's what do. I've noticed from watching the Japanese crowd is they, they encourage every competitor because they like, just like the figure skating. It's not, it's not so partisan, really, apart from when their own skaters skate. I, I think they all have a little bag of different flags. You sort of pop them up depending on what countries. Yeah, you can see the flags all around the arena depending on who's skating. Well, let's get into the action then, shall we? And this is uh, the first team out on the ice.